hustler here. Max from the green room here. E-Money back here. And today we're gonna go just do a little light garage shelling. Should be fun, let's go. What's up guys, Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of the, the spaceship. spaceship. Cruising through the galaxy at zero miles an hour. We're sitting outside my house and we're about to go garage sailing. We have Max here. So, What's up Max? So. Yeah, you've been on my videos now four times, maybe five. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Max is a pretty good reseller. He's in the green room, a member in the green room, so you can, uh, you know, message him if you're in the room. But we're gonna go hit up garage sales right now. The day doesn't look so good, but at the same time, you know, I did see about 15 that looked pretty decent. So we gotta make sure we hit this 15. Let's go. Okay, so there's a neighborhood-wide garage sale up here. About 20 to 30 houses are participating. Now, it's not exactly the most prime neighborhood-wide garage sale, but I am gonna hit it just because it's 7.35 in the morning. It's our best shot for right now. Got some dirty looks for those ladies back there, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna look around for the sales. All right, Emerson, we need eyes open, man. We need all the eyes open. Oh, I see one. You see one, Max? Yup. Point to it. Oh, right there. <laughs> It's right there, man. Party right, money. What'd you pop on for this garage sale, real quick? Uh, balance, like half ball, Bosu ball. Bosu ball, nice. Yeah. These things are about a hundred bucks new. Yeah. Um, you'd probably be able to sell this on 30 or 40 at Craigslist, right? Uh, probably, but I'll, I'll probably end up like shipping it off. Oh, okay. More. And you gotta find the pump with it, but there's no pump on this one, it doesn't matter. But try to find the pump with it. Correct. So Correct. there you go. Ooh. Correct. Yeah, Correct. This, is, this is sexy. Okay, so there's sales everywhere, and um, oh, we see one here, Ooh, one there, pretty. one there. So that's pretty good. It's a good sign. So let's have a look, and then we'll show you what we find from these three. All right, so I popped on this GPS right here. It should bring about 40, maybe 50. I popped on the iPod right here. Don't know if it's working. Popped on it for a dollar. Uh, just gonna put it in an iPod lot. So I try to amass a pretty decent amount of these, and then I put them on a lot on eBay. Done a flip video. Yeah, no, I'm guess guessing 70 bucks on this one. 70 bucks, okay, cool. Yeah. And Max, any, anything? Oh yeah, I got this. Just for oh, you got it. Yeah. Uh, that's I mean, like 20 bucks like on those. FBA? Uh, yeah, I think so, but no. Don't you need a nunchuck or can you just sell these by myself? Okay, so okay, you, you popped on this. How much do you think you're gonna sell for? I'm just gonna lot it with the system. Oh, okay, cool, very good. Okay, we're looking for more garage sales in the same neighborhood, but it like, turns into a totally different neighborhood. It's kind of weird, so. Um, everyone gets their little plastic white fence here, or most of the people. And it's just very odd. Like, that's not even wood, that is plastic or something weird. Garage sales, like, right there. Um, that looks really terrible, actually. Alright, alright. So you guys pop on some Wii games from that garage sale right there. Yep. And, uh, this is 20 after fees. Mario Kart Wii, I bought it for two bucks. Four bucks. Uh, four bucks. Uh, after fees, I'll probably get like a solid 35. There's a garage sale behind there that we just went to, and Max popped on this Trump game right there for five bucks. Actually, less than five. What'd you get? No, it was five. Five bucks? Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, what do you think you'll get for it? 50. 50 nice. Bucks after fees, yeah. Which one? Uh, FBA or eBay? FBA, but I'm, I might eBay it too. Two garage sales that are going to be right here. But before that, we have to go to Thunderbird. Uh, Dang. This should move fast, right? It's Southern Hospitality time. And it uh, looks like we're gonna be taken care of by this garage sale, because there's a lot of uh, stuff. This one's got a fair amount of things. The only problem is I'm kind of sticking out into this dude's driveway, but I think I'm gonna take the chance. All right, before we leave, guys, I do want to show you what I bought here. So I bought this juicer right here. Um, it's a crew, or a crew, 
Um, and it's brand new, sitting in there. Bought it for 30 bucks, and then for 35 bucks, I popped on this Onkyo HDMI uh, receiver with Onkyo speakers. And that was 30 bucks. So reselling this, going in an FBA around 140, and then this one probably a local sale of I don't even know, maybe 60 to 100 bucks. We'll see. Maybe closer to 100 because it has two speakers with it. So okay, so there's a garage sale right there that we just went to, and I popped on all this kind of stuff for 40 bucks. This is a brand new 9-speed cassette, uh, the RXT. XT is really good. It's right before it gets to XTR. This is pretty much, you know... Is that one new? Yeah, it's brand new. So, like, oh, this is definitely upper echelon of mountain bike um, cassettes right here. And then we got some Pro Race tires. These are 20 by 23, so they're basically <clears throat> 700 by 23s. These are brand new. Um, we got a Cele San Marco seat. So, usually anything Cele San Marco is going to be pretty decent to mess with. And then we got a small block 8, which is a really good tire for a 26 inch bike or 26 inch tire and uh, this one right here should go for about 30 to 40 we have a hope anytime you see hope hope is really really good mountain biking equipment so here we have a seat post collar and a seat, po seat post collar aluminum by hope should run about 20 or more so from that garage show, uh, which is around that CRV right there in those pods um, I popped on these Nash bar um, paneers right here and these are the basically the way if you everyone want to know what a paneer is it's the kind of bag that fits on the side of a bike and these are pretty big and they're the waterproof ones so these are nice they probably have a market value of around 30 to 40 locally they're in really good condition and then we also popped and that was like two bucks for that and then for a dollar each pair these vintage La Sportivas right here popped on those and then these Ascent right here Huecos so it's nice they probably fetch you know, north of 30 for each one of these on eBay. Max, did you get ripped off on those shirts or what? No. I'm just 50 kidding. 50 cents each. <laughs> 50 cents. What did you get? Two bosses? No, a boss and a canali. Canali. A yeah. boss and a canali shirt. There you go. You do clothing, so I know you like that kind of stuff. Okay, our last garage sale of the day is back there. I did find some stuff. Let's check it out. Okay, so I popped on this police t shirt, three bucks. I'm gonna go in my booth for about uh, 15 to 20. <laughs> Pop on this, uh, this is a blind purchase right here for 10 bucks. Pocahontas Masterpiece Deluxe Video Edition with pamphlet, all kinds of stuff. Look at this. Whoa. And there's a new VHS tape on beneath all that. So 10 bucks, blind buy. We'll see how much this is worth later. And you got a dongle for tw how much? Dollar. <laughs> and okay. Contact for DS for five dollars. How much is contact resale? Twenty. Wow, man. E money, did you get anything? Uh, like 15, no, no, okay. I, uh, Where are we going right now? Going to get some tacos. Yeah. You know. Of course, our journey has brought us to Taco Deli, and here we are on Burnett Road. You know, funny story. Funny story. Actually, the last time we came down here, we saw Ben and Lauren. Now you guys are probably going like, who's Ben and Lauren? Well, they're the most recent Bachelor. Uh, and wife, couple, whatever. So I do watch the show, that's okay, whatever. We actually all do, actually. Uh, my wife, E-Money, his girl, neighbors, we all get together and kind of watch it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we saw him here and uh, E-Money was like, let's get a picture, and I was like, dude, you know, if you live in Austin, Texas, you actually do see celebrities quite often. They're just walking around in plain sight. Um, you know, we see, a, I'd say every month or two basis, we see, you know, kind of some popular people, but Anyway, this Taco Deli here is on Burnett Road. We go to it all the time after garage sales. It's basically all natural, organic tacos. Very, very good for you. And it tastes amazing. So if you're ever in Austin, Texas, and for those that are coming down in the July meetup, Taco Deli is on the schedule. All right, Money, what are you getting here? Migos Royale. Migos Royale, all right. All right, we got Max delving for the best chip ever going into the salsa that is now combined Roja and Doña sauce. Nice, man. There you go. Oh, tell, what does it taste like, man? For the viewers out there, what does this taste like? Um, good. Okay. All right. I like that. See, he explained it really well. So It's exquisite. It's exquisite. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll give it a taste here. It's delectable. It's delectable. <laughs> It's divine. <laughs> it's definitely tastes like you know really nicely liquefied salsa with a really good punch of like guac not guacamole but jalapeno. It's so good. So if you guys come to Taco Deli, make sure to get roja salsa and put some donut sauce in it. That's the way you do it. Thank you. No onion. Right here. Corn? Yep. This is where it's at. You gotta get the akahushi on corn, no onions, 
There you go, man. Try that out. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. That's onion. I know, it's gonna be good. Oh, well, I mean, no onion as in chopped onions. These are like sauteed. Oh. Anyway, Akirushian corn, no onions. One line of green, one line of red. You know how the bone Hustle does it. I'll see you guys after this clip because I'm gonna eat the crap out of this. And there's Max's tacos right there. He's getting salsa. It was pretty awesome. The Roja didn't come in time. Are you happy now, Max? Yeah, dude. Right. Show me happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Last stop of the day is this Goodwill, which is like not even a block down the road. So the hustlers are gonna go in this place. This is the proximity game. We play it all the time. If you're close to a place, it don't matter what kind of time of schedule you're on, you better go into it. See some cool hats, man? Maybe. No dice? Yeah, there's a Patriots jersey. He's facing me, and it's not like a good player. All right, so we're leaving the Goodwill. Not exactly the way I want to end the day, but hey, you know, we tried real hard, found some good stuff, and uh, now we are going to go home, divvy up the crap, and then uh, maybe do something else. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep. All right. Oh. What are you putting up? Hi, guys. This is from the Florida meetup right here. This is a flower can. Inside is in another can. It's like straight Russian doll style. So there's, if you watch the Florida meetup, you'll see this. This is going to the booth today. 20 bucks a piece. There's this one. There's another one. There's another one. And then uh, Max, show him this thing. Right here. This is pretty cool. Check that out, Amy. That was two bucks, I think. I think oh, neat. Bucks. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Muffler jacket. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Really <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it. We're getting out of this booth and then um, divvy up the stuff at the house. Only bow suit in there. I'm bow suit. Alright, that's it. Ready? <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> oh. See if you can do a squat on there. Here, focus on his knees. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't do Alright. Here, take it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alright, All right, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even like, help it. <laughs> That's the whole point. You're not trained, so like your muscles are firing like in different directions. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> Two more time, man. Go as low as you can. Go as low as you can. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See. All right. All right. That means this core is strong. This, everything's ready to go. I see something cool I found yesterday. Yeah, I see it. Come check it out. It's right here, actually. Look at that, man. That's a real wheelman right there. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. It might still have gas in it. You wanna try it? I think so. Here, let me fire it up. Bring the wheelman <coughs> to the grass, because you want something soft that you're gonna land in. Oh, it's right, right there. Maybe that's why you spent like 60 something bucks. <laughs> There's like zero control to it. <laughs> Rev it up and go. Rev it up and kick it off. It's not that fast, dude. Trust me. It's not like a brushless motor. There. <laughs> okay, try again. Go. Yeah! 
Oh, you got some, man. <laughs> A lot of speed. No. Would you mess with this thing or not? Does this look like a death sentence? This looks like exactly what I would mess with. Oh, eat money! <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, million dollar ride. Here How can you not do this with a smile on your face? Alright. <laughs> yeah, come TV on. Money. Here we go. Here we go, come on. <laughs> It's hotter than two cats fighting in a rice sack. But <laughs> anyway, that's a wheelman right there. Retail for about three to $500. You can buy them new for like seven to 900. I'll see you guys on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy and 